So let's talk about some of my favorite products for exterior detailing that are not all that easy to get or not all that well known and it's why I don't talk about them all the time or other people don't necessarily talk about them all the time starting with one of my favorite wheel cleaners and it's actually the wheel cleaner from Auto Magic. It is not an acidic cleaner and the reason why I like it so much is because it is so powerful and it is not acidic therefore it doesn't have the same effects as something like Meguiar's wheel brightener for your health. The reason why it is often not talked about is because companies like Automagic or Carbright or Malco, they tend to be lesser known by us detailers, more known by distributors, wholesalers, and maybe things like car dealerships, big industrial car washes. That's kind of their primary customer. It's like 80% or more of their market. And so us detailers tend to lose out on products like that that are super effective that would really help us because we don't really know that they exist. So that's the first product I want to highlight. The second product that I want to highlight is actually the Purple Power Industrial Vehicle and boat wash. Now, I want to be very specific about this product, okay? I only tend to use this product on vehicles that are, for example, newer in terms of their car paint. In other words, if it's like a 2000 Toyota Sequoia where the paint is kind of oxidized, no matter what color the paint is, I'm not going to use it on that type of car. So, in other words, the paint has to be in really, really good condition. But where this product shines is paint that is in relatively good condition, right? Let's just call it average condition paint, right? That's not super oxidized, not super scratched. It's not obviously super damaged, but it is really dirty and it's just a daily driver vehicle like this Toyota Corolla. It's a perfect example of the perfect type of car to use this type of product on. I generally dilute around four ounces or less in a fully uh, filled up with water foam cannon, okay? I don't ever go over four ounces. The reason for this is because industrial grade really strong alkaline cleaners like that can start to stain paint if it's oxidized, if it's darker, if it's older. So those are the qualifications that I would give. The reason why it's amazing is because it's basically like $9 a gallon. It's generally available at retailers like Walmart, and it is unbelievably effective at pulling off surface dirt, probably more effective than most detailing specific products when you are doing a pre-foam rinse. And that's actually the point of that stage of the car wash. It will speed things up dramatically. Now, the next product that I want to highlight is a specific tar remover from Optimum, okay? And I believe it's just called Optimum Tar Remover. The problem is, and you'll see me use it in just a second in a bit of an orange bottle in the kind of gas cap and also on the lower rocker panels of this car, it's actually not as easy to get as it used to be. And I have a hard time finding it. And so when I run out, I tend not to reorder it because it's just not that easy to get for detailers. Now, the applications that I use for it, and I'm going to give you a, a substitute product here in just a second, but the applications I use this for are lower rocker panels, gas caps, sometimes wheel wells if it's necessary, certain parts of the engine, and what I would call miscellaneous dirt after the washing stage. So after the pre-wash and after the agitation wash, there will inevitably be on white cars like this certain spots that need to be treated with a specific strong chemical because you don't want to clay it away and you're not going to get it off with car soap. And because of that, products like this are necessary. You can see me doing that after the pre-foam wash here. This is going to be before the traditional wash and sometimes I'll do that if there's not too much dirt on the car, but the point remains the same. Pre-treating the area with a product like this makes it really easy to bring all of that dirt off in any, uh, let's just say, latter stage of the process. Well, because this product is generally kind of hard to get, I do like it because it's so safe, but the substitute product that I would suggest is Citral Degreaser. It is a citrus cleaner. Now, there are a few caveats here. Number one, if you are trying to get tar off of lower rocker panels and that tar is, let's say there's a lot of it on the paint and it's kind of like grungy coming off the paint, like you're going to scratch the paint if you rub a lot on the paint, I suggest using the aerosol can of Citral. You can spray it on there. It will really break down the tar and when you pressure wash it away, you'll at least remove at 50, maybe 60% of it, if not more, so that when you come in with the agitation, there's not near as much tar on the paint as there was. Secondly, I like to also have a gallon of the liquid version because it's really easy to dab onto a microfiber towel and to treat any particular area on the paint with that little spot on the microfiber towel really quickly. I always like to pull off the residue of the citrus degreaser because it is not going to be good sitting on clear coat. So I will follow up with an optimum no rinse solution or even pressure washing that area and then following up again with something like an optimum no rinse or a final touch detailer that'll pull off the residue, but it's perfect for tar remover. It is a little bit more caustic than something like Optimum Tar Remover.
mover, it is not going to be quite as safe, so use at your own risk and make sure to include the caveats that I just gave you. But in terms of speeding up exterior details, that product will do it. Now you guys may be noticing that the products that I'm mentioning here, at least some of them, are more caustic. They're more industrial grade is what I would call them. And so you do have to be careful when you're using them. There are a couple rules that I want to give that tend to apply to one product, if not all of them, okay? Number one, I don't use them on older paint. Number two, if the paint is darker and oxidized, do not use. Number three, dilute heavier in the beginning and then you can make it more concentrated as you get more comfortable with the solution, but avoid specific areas of the car that tend towards damage when you are at the higher dilutions. Things like the front of the car, the places where the bugs etch in, right? Those areas of the car, the roof that kind of get all the tree sap that sits there and breaks down the clear coat, they tend to be more susceptible to what I would call chemical staining or chemical burn. So stay away from those areas until you're super comfortable with the product. Remember that anytime you use a chemical on paint, you can always dilute it with water in real time if you've got a hose or your pressure washer next to you. So if I'm spraying the chemical onto the paint, I can always follow up right over top of the chemical spray with a pressure washer just to make sure that I have diluted it in real time on the paint. Now, though I'm talking about some industrial grade cleaners that I think will speed up your exterior detailing process from my experience here, I do have a full list of the full products and tools that I suggest. None of it is sponsored. It is all what I have used over the last 13 years, what I still use, where I use them, off-label uses, dilution ratios, and everything you need to know as well as discounts to all of these products in the YouTube description box below. It's called the Pro Detailing Toolbox. It's just an all-in-one resource that is completely free to detailers just so that you can get the information you need in one place because unfortunately, it doesn't really exist. There are video modules, PDFs, and everything you can imagine to help you navigate exactly what you need to buy and save you money. Now, the next product that I want to get into here is a tire dressing from a company called Superior Products. And many of you guys may be familiar with Superior Products because of their, their formulation of Formula 4 Spray Wax, which is a really great alternative to people who don't have a DI tank. It's a great way to avoid water spots, but I'm not talking about that right now because Coverall is a tire dressing. It is a solvent-based tire dressing. It is also a very economically priced gallon size. And because of that, it and I say economical because it goes such a long way. So buying a gallon will take you through so much time in so many vehicles. Now, I don't generally use products like this that are solvent-based for tire dressings. And I want to be specific here because we're talking about how to speed up exterior details. One of the things you will have inevitably encountered if you have detailed a lot of cars is, for example, larger SUVs, trucks, places where wheel wells are exposed, potentially lifted vehicles, Areas essentially where black trim or undercarriage components are exposed, even things like door jams where you have hinges and sort of um, areas that are kind of like greasy but black and hard to clean, right? So all of those things have one thing in common. Hard to clean, kind of greasy, have dirt stick to them, and even after you clean them or even if you can't clean them, you do want them to look good at some level. Having a solvent-based product like Coverall is a great way to cover those areas with protection, darken them up, blacken them up back to that original appearance, and doing it in a way that I care about most, which is economical and quickly. So guys, those are the top products I would suggest to speed up your exterior detailing that you might not have heard of because unless you're deep in the detailing world, you probably didn't come across them. But again, like I said, I'll list all of them in the YouTube description box below so you can check them out and grab the free Pro Detailing Toolbox because if this video was helpful to you, I promise the Pro Detailing Toolbox is going to take you to a whole new level of help and saving you money. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always from Luke here at Wilson Under Detailing, keep working hard. Remember, a great detailer is always learning, and I will see you in the next video.